RV. Hi, I'm Janine from Kitzmiller RV, and today we're talking about fire safety. This is a very extremely important topic. We, you, you definitely don't want to have a fire, but if you do, there's a couple things that you need inside your coach to keep you safe. The first thing that you see here is we have a fire extinguisher, and it's located just inside the entry door. The reason that we put it here, and not, not all RVs actually have one of these, so you need to make sure you have one. If you don't have one, buy one. Um, but right here inside the door is where they're going to put it for the most um, easy access for both kitchen, cab area, and also the outside of the coach. Um, if you have a generator on board, it's not a bad idea to keep one in a storage compartment back where the generator's at. Um, also, not too bad of an idea to keep one in the kitchen if your kitchen is further away from the entry door. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind with these is, depending on how old it is, you want to actually make sure that it works. Um, if it doesn't work or if you know that the coach has never had one changed in maybe four or five years, even you know, under um, extreme weather conditions, like here in Michigan, we have a lot of extreme temperatures and that can affect these. Um, I would change it about every two years just to be safe. Um, if the tank will allow you to test it, then that's, that's definitely a good idea. But if you're gonna ruin it by testing it, just change it. And we do sell these in our parts department. The other thing that you wanna keep in mind um, where we're, when we're talking about safety, honestly, is the CO2 detector. Now, code, code refers now from you know 2007, I think, CO2 detectors were code. Um, they were not previous to that, so if you don't have one, you need to pick one up and bring it with you. Um, we recommend that you put one here in the bedroom area. In this particular coach, there's a bedroom here for the cab, and it's located at a high spot. Um, carbon monoxide goes up, so you want to make sure your carbon, carbon monoxide detector is up near the bed area. And then in the back bedroom on this particular unit, because it's so far away from this other CO2 detector, we would want to put one of those somewhere near where you sleep, as close to a bed pillow, possibly, or, or somewhere near the ceiling. In this one, we could mount it directly to the ceiling. Um, in the parts department, these are about $90, and this is... Um, um, you know, something that quite honestly is priceless. Now that we have CO2 detectors in both of our sleeping areas, the next thing we want to check is our LP leak detector. This is usually located someplace within the coach down close to the floor because LP gas goes down and that's where it's going to detect it. There's a test button right on that. You want to test it. I'm not going to do that on camera because it's really, really noisy. But you want to test that every spring and fall. Um, the CO2 detectors, you want to just change the batteries in those in the spring. You know, if it's not dead, great. Throw out the batteries. It's only going to cost you five bucks to make it right. The other thing that we need to check is our smoke detector. That's it, folks. Just change the battery every spring. Don't wait until it goes dead. Part of the problem with these is we're not in the coach enough to know, you know, like at home, the thing beeps at you and you know to change the battery. But if you walk away from your coach for a month, hello, you're not going to know that it's dead because it's just going to go dead and beep while you're not in the unit. So just change this thing every spring. I like to change them spring and fall, but it depends on if you're going to use the coach through, you know, late fall and, and if you put it into storage, you know, it's going to go off in storage. Nobody's going to hear it. The coach is going to burn to the ground anyway, but it costs you a couple bucks to change it. The next thing you want to check is if you ever have a fire, you're actually in the bedroom of this coach right now. All bedrooms have an emergency escape window if they're not really close to an entry door. So you want to test these and make sure that they're functioning properly. You don't want to have to do this if there is a fire, so you want to be confident that you know how it works and that it actually opens, it's not stuck or anything. This is a swing out window. All you're going to do is just make sure that it swings out, relock it, and make sure that you get these latched tight because otherwise the window will fly open while you're driving. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about safety, you can reach me at Kitzmiller at AOL, or you can visit us on the web at kitzmillerrv.com. Just click on the contact button and ask all of your questions there. They will come to me by email. If you can call, you can also call us toll-free at 888-273-6963.